today's video, we're going to be installing the freaking swivel chair. <laughs> <laughs> and during my last video when I was putting in my trailer hitch I got another package this is my seat swivel here it is the seat swivel it's an off center hole so when it turns it's not gonna hit that pillar, so it'll turn out this way. Not, not, not that extreme, but it'll turn. So, I can start installing this. The problem is the uh, instructions are in German. So I'll probably have to just figure it out. And there's no pictures. So, I'll figure it out. The seat bolts are like a reverse star head so I'm using one of these looking ratchets with all those mini little teeth in it grabs it it works good this is a size 7 16 before I remove the rest of the seat I'm going to take the uh, this seat belt off so I can move the entire seat without being attached to the seat belt and that's just a star head bit. Here are the back two bolts. One, two. And there's a wire that comes down the bottom of the seat. It's a little clip connector. Push down this little bitty thing at the top. And push it. Off comes the seat. There's nothing really in this passenger side. There's like this one wire, this little piece of insulation, and some more wires running underneath it. I did end up finding some English instructions. They were hidden underneath the plate when I got it out of the box. And this one does have pictures. Place swivel on the seat pedestal with the release handle toward the front of the sprinter. Install both front swivel and pedestal bolts, finger tight. Figure four, swivel pedestal 45 degrees and install both rear bolts, figure five. The rear outside bolt hole in the tapered seat to match the number one taper bolt, head bolt. Using an 80 millimeter Allen wrench and a socket 60 millimeter from a I have this battery terminal ground which connects to this bolt. And just by removing this will disconnect the power to that seat. Well, to everything, but to that seat specifically so you can remove the wire. It's uh, safety first. It comes up through this hole. So what I gotta do is mark a hole, or mark a, yeah, mark a hole in this foam. Nicely drawn Picasso. I'm gonna cut it out. my beautiful hole. I got the piece of foam out, don't worry. And now I'm going to remove this wire to my new hole. Just like that. Now it goes up through that little center hole. The bolts that come in the kit are the ones that go into the swivel, into the pedestal. So in the back right corner there is a little divot tapered and the, the tapered bolt that corresponds to that hole. So that goes in there and then each of the four bolts go in finger tight and I got to get some Allen wrenches that go into these bolts. So the biggest Allen wrench I have is still too small for these bolts but this little star head bit it's working perfectly. These things are handy. Get yourself a kit of these, especially for a sprinter. And the factory bolts screw into 
the seat slides in all four corners. This gets reconnected and that is it. The car is not leaking by the way. I left this door open then rain just came out of nowhere. It was blue skies and then a thunderstorm two seconds later. From the factory bolt to the new bolt, that is a very narrow gap. It did say in the instructions if your bolt touches the new bolts that you have to put a 5 16th spacer underneath this one, or a washer rather. I'm hoping that they all have that clearance, especially when, when you sit on it. I don't want it to push down into that bolt. Same with that one. That one's, that one's a little bit better, but still very close. Reinstalling the seat belt to the new mounting plate that's on the bottom of the seat swivel. So there's a tiny bolt and a washer that goes on the other side of it. Seat belt lines up. Let's see if I can get a good picture of it. Mm, not a very good picture, but slide works. Pull up, twist. Oh, I gotta put this back on. I just love it when it's all sunny right after it rained. Everything just has like a new glow to it. Even though it's like 300% humidity. Alright, so I ran into a problem. It's not really a problem, I fixed it, but... When you push this down, and you rotate the seat, the, uh, the little plastic piece wants to hit this. So if you just push it up a little bit, it'll clear. So that problem's fixed. Very nice. Very strong when it clicks into place, very sturdy. This thing is a little expensive. But this is a this is a good one. Everything's made from very strong, sturdy parts. Like nothing on this thing will shake. Nothing rattles. Everything is very solid. I'll send. I'll put a link in the description for this swivel. I think it's a very one of the best ones I've seen on the market. Another cool thing is the slide still works even in reverse. So if you have a table right here, you can slide underneath the table. And you come into the, the cab pretty far. And that is the install of my seat swivel. I hope you enjoyed my video. I think I've made enough videos where I can ask for you guys to like, subscribe, and leave some comments if you have any questions. I look forward to making some more videos. Showing you what all is going on inside my Sprinter van. I did name it, Van Gogh, you know, like Vincent Van Gogh, Starry Night. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you later.